Hello everyone, I'm Grand Enemy and welcome back to Stellaris version 1.3 with Leviathans. Last time we started our empire in the stars, found a couple of habitable worlds, and are in the process of saving up to build our first colony ship. Hopefully by the time I got one, it won't be short by a couple of months, start. But in 10 months, we'll get a uh, New Worlds Protocol, which will unlock the colonization of these two worlds, which we will immediately start. Over on Elfgard, we've got a new pop coming in in one month, a few days, and then we can start working on a few things. Let's see here. How long? 15 months until we store it, until we get the power hub. For an early game, I prefer the power hub System over complete. anything else. Alright, you come research that, then pop over survey, survey, survey. That will get most of everything that is in our influence at the moment. Well, Holland is not going to get any other stars out, unfortunately. We might expand into Ohm, but I don't think so. Our research scientists have leveled up. Oh, and how are we doing here? Good, good, good. We could reasonably go for another science ship, but the last game I played I ended up running out of things to do with it. I can't really go into these systems. They've got too strong of an enemy in them. Yes, the space stations are weak, but the ships guarding them are not. So, one month until powered Research exoskeletons. And we'll go immediately into nanocomposite armor. Recycle what we can. Good. I was hoping that would give us some minerals here in the home system. There's a ship graveyard above this asteroid. And probably the remnants of some long forgotten battle that ended up with a planet destroyed there. Long before we, we elves began to evolve. So, that is a huge gas giant. I mean, look at that thing. Absolutely massive. Research I not complete. know. I've been playing this game since it came out, and I did not know you could rotate any which way inside the system. Ah, New Worlds Protocol finished. And... We don't really need either of those two at the moment, so we'll take the symbol of unity. Out here, if you try to rotate around, and you end up snapping back to there. Interesting. So does that reset? Ooh, wrong one. Yeah, it does. Cool. Okay. Things you don't know when playing Stellaris. Things you discover. Uh, colony ship, please. You're going to be going to the hall. Take a look at the expansion planner. Four food, four energy credits, five minerals, two, one, two. A lot of energy on uh, Itra Vip. Three. King. And let's see here. Don't have anything for our ship design system just yet. Complete. You are in the middle of that big queue I gave you. Research in one month. You're gonna take. Wow. You're gonna take uh, close to eight years. That. Uh, out here, ooh, I would love to get the solar panel network with the fusion power and solar power network. Panel network, not power network, although they are one and the same. Anyway, on the surface, up here, we are going to build in one month, or rather, 
of days. There we go. The power hub. And we'll boost energy production across this whole entire world. Let's take a look at the edicts here. We can do spiritual unity. That's 11 years, 6 months. Okay. That will give us 10, plus 10 food, which we'll probably activate for Valhall. Well, the edicts, I know a lot of players kind of forget about them. I do too, but they are really powerful on the planet side, on the planet scale. If we look at the uh, sectors, all these and edicts, we can only do Liberation Warriors, which is fine. Slavery is prohibited, purge is prohibited, uh, light or limited, because we are uh, pacifist, that's right. Migration is prohibited, resettlement is prohibited, there's no voting rights, uh, leadership is primary species, and first contact protocol is peaceful. These don't give you a lot, but some of the later ones do. So, we have those. System survey complete. Construction oh, complete. Really? So, I... Okay. That didn't do much, did it? Oh, that's right, because we don't have anyone working it just yet. Uh, in about four months, we will will be good because we have the colony ship coming complete. online. So to Valhalla, this is our colony ship. And I have you go here. Randomize the name. Mindos, Thebes, Acropolis, Mindos, Cutton, Nutton, Aurora. That sounds like an elven name. I'll go there. Uh, you're out there now. Got 17 left. Uh, survey. Survey Ulm. It's a one province minor in EU4. Survey there. Just gonna keep going about, keep surveying, seeing what all, what trouble we can get into. Also, where did my construction ship go? Go ahead and do that. Build the mining station there. We are losing five credits per turn or per. Month. Oh, you couldn't have done 0.2. Alright, there we go. So, what does that give us? Plus 14. Okay. First elf gun colony! Mouth of a large river delta on one of several continents that can be found on Aurora, this temperate forested region, will serve as an ideal first landing site. The ship has been permanently converted into the administrative headquarters of the new settlement, and its reactor core is in the process of being removed, so it may serve as the colony's temporary power source. Hundreds of small tents and prefab shelters have sprung up sprung up around the former starship's massive hull as colonists begin to disembark in large numbers. It's our first extraterrestrial city. It's going to sit right there. Took a glancing hint uh, while approaching Atlas 3A, the ECV paradox, and we received a glancing hit by several passing mass drive arounds. Projectiles were billions of years old and based on their trajectory they appear to be stray rounds fired from a neighboring galaxy. After missing their intended target, they continued on their journey to, for untold millennia until today. The rounds we have recovered are of advanced design despite their incredible age. 60 engineering points. <sighs> if only we could get some society points to uh, help boost it's the symbol of unity here. Which would be nice. Alrighty. Oh god. Um, yeah, we could do with starting to increase our research a little bit. Uh, you are constructing. Then come here and build those mining stations before coming out here to construct 
um, these two. And that one. And nothing in is quick. Absolutely nothing in there, so it's a dead system. Not worth much of anything to us. Also, well, no, we can't do anything on it yet. So. We are going to grab home within our borders by that expansion. Uh, we do need to go out and probably survey. Anomaly found. Ooh, signs of an ancient precursor. We'll see who it is. Anyway, probably build a outpost here. And an outpost out in one of these as well. Just because there are so many stars over here. Yeah, I like that idea. About to capture Atlas within our territory. We did get Ulm inside our territory. Good. Elf God, how are we doing here? Doing just fine. Alrighty. From an ancient alien civilization on Atlas 6, they must have been active in the region of space approximately 12 million years ago. This is the Voltam Star Assembly. Good. Judging by the age of the artifacts. So, uh, from what they've been able to piece together, our scientists theorized that these aliens, who called themselves the Voltam Star Assembly, were worm-like annelids, roughly three to four meters in length, that communicated with each other primarily through vibrations carried along their segmented bodies. Situation log updated. And that will begin the precursor chain. We found one here, so the rest are likely st strewn out around this region of space here. Uh, we cannot... Oof. Maybe with the second level wormhole complete. technology, we might be able to reach over here. Might. Uh, construction complete. They're there. Um, let's go ahead and grab the alpha aliens. These were the uh, gas grazers. Because we aren't getting anywhere on you just yet. 53 months, 20 months. We do need the nano composite armor. That will be a really bit a big help, particularly against mass driver weapons, System which is red shields. All right, Atlas fully researched or surveyed at least. End up with two minerals and four energy credits. We're somewhat mineral and just resource poor it looks like the only really good resource system we ended up with was bonus so it looks like most of our resources are going to be coming Colony from established. colonies like Aurora uh, you are actually, I'm actually going to pop you over here because I want you to the hydroponics farm uh, scientist Mr. Brown also on Aurora, we need to take spiritual unity and then increase our food output, or plus 10% plus food, so you should be growing. Ah, so it directly impacts the amount of food you get. Okay, that's good to know. What elf god, how we doing over here? Doing well? Okay. Wow. Uh, proto sieve on Perquim 2. Fortunately, they aren't um, developing races. Would be what I would want. That way, we could complete. integrate them. Them and ready space piracy move you home, which means we now need four core vents. Let's do five of them for the moment. Bring us up to eight. Station and under attack. Up. System survey complete. In here, they're going to destroy this, unfortunately. The question is, is where are they hiding? 
came from this direction. So my guess is Ulm, Bonos, or Edmire. Looks like one of these two. It possibly came from Inna, the Tagiani. We gained 20% uh, progress to frequency tuning. It does, they are taking damage from the station, but not a lot. Got four ships, the Jubilant Marksman Chariot Mermaid, the fifth one joining in now, the Valorous. Jungles cleared. Ooh, swirling shadows. Immense ragged planes of shadow drift across all seven's face. They are cast not by clouds, but by sheets of organic material drifting through the upper layers of the atmosphere, hinged or rather jointed to allow for a small degree of articulation. Science Officer Brown is as yet unwilling to say whether these things are flora or fauna, or what or what possible purpose, if any, their elaborate shadow casting might serve. <laughs> that should have... Oh yeah, that gave us six society research on Ulm 7. Which would be glorious. Uh, about that one. What just joined? Meteor just joined the fleet. Uh, and how are we on? Like, armor 10 months. Okay. We might be able to hold off that long or not. We'll just send them in willy nilly. Like I've been known to do. You are going to now build a science lab. Aurora. And we'll have you go there. Construction complete. And our H and our last ship is the ECV Celestial. Let's go ahead and head on out to Edmar. And let's see what we can do. Also, you will end up getting renamed, I think. We'll, we'll probably become something else. Alrighty, where are we here? So. We're going to come out to about halfway, trigger their response here, here from these four ships, which are fully repaired now. Retreat to the edge of the system, and then turn around and engage. System survey complete. Ooh, the Vasandia civilization encounter. We have detected of a primitive alien system on New Beginning in the Ulm system. They currently seem to be experiencing the equivalent of a renaissance, having recently left the medieval age behind them. Scientific knowledge is spreading rapidly, and the armies of their petty kingdoms are equipped with crude, gunpowder-based projectile weapons. We should consider building an observation post above their world to study them more closely. This is what I wanted, although I wanted them more like in um, the industrial era level. As you can see, we're not taking too much damage here, which is actually kind of surprising. I mean, we've, well, we've oh, we almost lost Situation the Celestial, updated. and the Celestial just barely survived. Um, do I want to send them home to repair? No, we are going to pull out the Valor the Valorous in the Celestial. The mermaid can stay in. Construction complete. Governor Harona Yamamoto has leveled up. Uh, 
Who are you? Situation log updated. Edamar. This. Uh -huh. So that. So New Beginning ended up with a civilization on it. Ooh, these guys are Arctic. I can use them very, very easily. Fire Militus Materialist, that's not going to do well. They're repugnant, very strong with an Arctic press um, preference. Army damage plus 40%, minerals plus 10. So if I can successfully integrate them, that would be a huge boon for us. Research complete. my energy production. Now, research completed. Good. Uh, grab mining network 2. And then we're going to go into the ship designer. Because we need some armor. Here. Shield to that. We don't have shields yet, unfortunately. Retribution class is new. Ready with plenty of armor. Moving there. Okay. Select the first one and then Station merge. Under attack. So two destroyers. Um, so you should go ahead and click the upgrade button here. Ships upgraded. Construction complete. Head and move on out. Yeah, some of these guys are using mass drivers, so that's good. System survey complete. Go ahead and research that anomaly. Good. Hostile fleet attack engaged. them. So hopefully our we're going to lose a few ships here. Sucker Punch is about dead. Looks fire on the Gunslinger now. Um, we have a 50% chance to just study its natural processes. Tinderblocks is gone, the Gunslinger is now gone, and the Intolerant. Situation log updated. All right, go home. Fortunately, now where did my construction ship go? You need to go here. Where is my science ship? You research projects in the system. This construction ship also needs to go to Bahal, which we are now going to rename. Name to. To Rhea. So now the Rhea system. I need to build one, two, three retributions. Then we'll start saving for our third colony. 
We also need to get rid of that pirate station. 14 months until the solar panel network comes online. But that will wait until next time. Until then, I've been Grand Admi. You guys have been awesome as always. And I will see you all later.